In accordance with publicly available information, among the US and Western tanks expected to be provided to Ukraine, versions of the Leopard 2 main battle tank MBT, produced by Germany are expected to be the most heavily provided. In fact, the MBT Leopard 2 is a modern tank designed to counter the massive armor wave of the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It has been continuously upgraded for decades and is still one of the most popular MBT models in the world, highly regarded for its protection, firepower, and reliability. However, the Ukraine battlefield is a different and extremely harsh combat environment for all modern combat vehicles. So, can the MBT Leopard 2 change the landscape of the Ukrainian battlefield? Watch this entire video and you will get the answer. The World's Best Tank The Leopard 2 is a main battle tank designed and manufactured by Krauss Maffei Wegmann of Germany. The tank weighs over 60 tons, is equipped with advanced composite armor, and is powered by a 12-cylinder MTU-12MB873KA501 diesel engine with a capacity of 1,500 horsepower allowing it to reach a top speed of 68 km per hour on good roads and 31 km per hour on rough terrain. The Leopard 2 is equipped with the Rain Metal developed smoothbore 120mm gun that fires two types of ammunition, APFSDST and Heat MPT. The APFSDST has an effective range of over 2,000 meters and the Heat MPT is highly effective against both soft and hard targets. The Leopard 2 carries a total of 42 rounds of ammunition, with 27 stored on the left side of the driver and 15 on the left side of the turret, separated from the fighting compartment by an electrically driven door. The secondary weapons include a remotely controlled weapon station with a heavy machine gun of 12.7 millimeters. The weapon station has an advanced infrared target acquisition system, allowing effective engagement of enemy infantry or low-flying targets. It operates independently of the tank's observation system. A coaxial 7.62 millimeter machine gun is mounted alongside the main gun to engage infantry or light targets. The Leopard 2 is equipped with a computerized fire control system with a maximum range of 10,000 meters and accuracy within 20 meters. The combined system allows it to engage moving targets at ranges of up to 5,000 meters while on rough terrain. The turret armor of the Leopard 2 has also been improved over the previous version with the use of titanium and tungsten alloys providing 360 degree protection against anti-tank weapons. The reactive armor can protect the tank against RPGs, which are commonly used in urban areas. The new armor also provides better protection against mines and improvised explosive devices IEDs. In addition, the Leopard 2 has additional side armor. The armor module of the Leopard 2 can be easily replaced when damaged during combat, reducing maintenance time. The tank's combat system can be optimized to meet customer requirements. The highlight of the Leopard 2 is its advanced electronic system based on high automation in target search and acquisition. In addition, the Leopard 2 also has an advanced battlefield management system, allowing effective coping with many different targets in a complex tactical environment. The tank driver uses a thermal imaging observation system in the front and rear with the support of two rearview mirrors. The commander and gunner have a long-range thermal target acquisition and tracking system. The Leopard 2A7 has a modern fire control system based on digital ballistic computers allowing it to engage targets with very high accuracy. The well-deserved title of Germany's MBT. Despite not being the birthplace of tanks, Germany, along with the Soviet Union, has a long-standing tradition of developing and producing world-renowned tank models. In World War II, many people would not forget the powerful tanks such as Tiger and Panther developed and launched into the battlefield by the Germans. This tradition was then continued and developed by West Germany. The Leopard tank series, and later the Leopard 2 model produced by Krauss Maffei, has continued to maintain Germany's reputation in the field of weapon development. When talking about the Leopard 2 tank, one must first mention the MBT-70 prototype, 
a collaboration between the United States and West Germany. This is the original technology prototype that later led the US and Germany to develop the renowned tank models to the present day, the Leopard 2 and the M1 Abrams. Because they share the same design origin, both the US and German MBTs prioritize armor shell in the front hemisphere and carry a powerful and efficient gun to deal with the Soviet tank models of the same era. Therefore, it is not surprising that the US purchased the German 120mm smoothbore gun L44 technology to equip the Abrams tank, or that Germany bought the US thermal imaging observation technology to equip various Leopard 2 versions. The power, reliability, and efficiency of the Leopard 2 have been proven in reality and it has been recognized worldwide, with dozens of countries ordering more than 3,000 tanks produced, of which over 2,200 are for export. Currently, most European countries own variants of the Leopard 2 tank. Throughout its decades of existence, Germany has continuously upgraded the Leopard 2 MBT to suit modern combat methods and the specific combat characteristics of each importing country. One of the most notable variants, and the type Germany is providing to Ukraine, is the Leopard 2A56, with advanced composite armor combined with third generation additional armor to enhance its protection against handheld anti-tank weapons as well as upgrading the new, more powerful L55 main gun. Together with the advanced fire control system, providing the ability to detect targets at a distance of 5 kilometers and accurately attack at a range of 2 kilometers, the Leopard 2 continues to be the most modern and powerful MBT in the world. A worthy opponent in Ukraine In the battle between MBTs and anti-tank weapons, both sides constantly develop to counter each other. As a result, while the Leopard 2 tank continually improves its protection and firepower, anti-tank weapons have developed faster. Ignoring the Leopard 2A56 variant, during the Syrian conflict, Turkey deployed upgraded Leopard 2A4 tanks, which were unable to withstand even the less powerful anti-tank missiles of the Soviet Union and Russia, such as the 9M113 Conquerors and Murtiz M. Images of destroyed Leopard 2 tanks alongside Russian tanks on the battlefield in 2016 had a significant impact on the reputation of the NATO's main battle tank. In Ukraine, Leopard 2 tanks will have to face even more dangerous anti-tank weapons from Russia, as well as the threat of precision-guided weapons from above before having the chance to directly confront Russia's main battle tank models, such as the T-72B3, T-80BVM, or T-90M. It's still a big question whether the third-generation composite armor can effectively counter extremely powerful anti-tank weapons such as Cornet, Vicar, Sturm, which were designed to target US and Western tanks. It should be noted that the more sophisticated and modern the weapon, the higher the likelihood of malfunction or damage when exposed to strong impacts from artillery on the battlefield. A single shot from an anti-tank weapon may not be enough to destroy the Leopard 2 tank, but it will undoubtedly affect the stable operation of the reconnaissance and fire control systems on the tank, or force it to return to the repair line. In addition, the current T-90M tanks of Russia are essentially on par with NATO's MBTs in terms of firepower and surveillance range, with an advantage due to their ability to launch AT-11 sniper missiles through the main gun. On the other hand, the increased armor protection has made the German tank weigh over 60 tons. So even with a 1,500-horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, the mobility of the Leopard 2 tank on muddy terrain, which has been damaged over time, remains a big question mark. Overall, the Leopard 2, with its capabilities and traditions, will be a formidable weapon on the Ukrainian battlefield. However, considering it as a weapon that can change the battlefield in Ukraine is still a big question mark, and only the reality of the battlefield can prove it. Thank you for following my response. I hope you learned something new and useful from my answer. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Goodbye, and see you next time.